All right, guys. The time has come. 2,000 packs. Modern Horizons 2. Let's see how it goes. This is before the store opens. I'm just gathering my spoils. You know, watching a League of Legends stream, uh, doing some inventory. You know, if you spend, like, I don't know, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, they give you some free cool sleeves. <laughs> also, we got, what do we got here? Some Garbage Pail Kids cards. These are kind of cool, though. These are the new uh, art sleeves for Dragon Shield. Where's the actual art on it? Here, you can see over here. Kind of see it, yeah. This one is Sparky. Got a bunch of those in. Oh, also, up front, I just got a TV to hang. So when people are playing out here, they can watch some TV. Nice 55 inch. It's gonna go right there. That's where the shield was. If you've uh, been to the store, now I moved the shield to the back. Uh, but yeah, this should be a cool thing. Oh, also today, a lot of things happen. I got the front windows tinted. Let's uh, go outside and check it out. Don't lock myself out. I don't know if you could see, but you can't really. I guess you really can't see. It's tinted. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that should uh, really help with the heat because, like, if you were playing right here, like, the sun would be, like, right over here. And there's just the radiant heat from the window would just be, like, crazy. And the light, too. So, hopefully that helps. All right, so we're in the warehouse now. And, oh, yeah, that's right. I want to show you this. Uh, not the Yu-Gi-Oh. I want to show you how not to trade in your bulk to a game store. Uh, you know what? It's my own fault. I should have looked, but I just gave the person the benefit of the doubt. And they are just all freaking piled on top of each other. All messed up. All. Uh, I hate this. Uh, like, you got to do it neat. And I've only found three used q-tips so far so here we go yay <laughs> okay so I streamed for three hours and opened packs, and I still have all this to go. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while. I gotta call in reinforcements. Oh, good god, this is a. Uh, I opened everything, so we opened everything. This is just the notable cards. This is a stack of Urza's Saga. Like, there's over 50 there. Um. Solitudes, Ragavans, a bunch of them. Uh, Esper Sentinels, probably like 40 or 50. I forget how many. But this is insane. So, just in those cards right there, we almost covered the cost of the whole purchase. And there's still a gigantic stack of list cards I didn't even look at, and all the like. <laughs> Bo foil borderless stuff this is crazy oh, I also wanted to show you a little contraption I used to do before I had the card sorter basically it's an iPad you could use your phone to this is with you know TCG player and you could scan cards uh, yourself and you could actually sometimes be a little quicker than the, the machine. But, you know, it does take you a while to do it, and it does suck. But it's a good alternative. Let me show you, like, how it works. So it's a TCG Player app, and it's the scanning portion of it, which is right there. And literally all you do is, oop, and that's it, and keep going. 
it's literally like so easy. And that one goes there because there's 20 cents. No good. No good this way. Anything over a certain value, I like to keep. And the rest just gets bulked like that. Bulk. 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 Ooh, that goes over there. See? Very easy. And if you have a phone and like a phone stand like this, you could do it too. It's super easy and very affordable option for anyone. Make a quick video of all the foil pulls that I got, the decent ones. Uh, well, pretty good ones. Sorry if you hear that noise in the back, that's my sorter going. I just wanted to make a quick video for the store open. I've been working non-stop trying to sort this out. But we got a Cabal Coffers Borderless. We got foil, three foil, sort of hearth and home. One retro verdant catacomb. We got one, two, two regular foils. We got one foil scolding tarn. One, two, three, four Cradles of Growth, one Foil Borderless Subtlety, an Archon of Cruelty Foil. These are all foils, by the way, so let me just, I don't have to say foil at the end of everything. Espers, Borderless Ragavan, we got one, two, three Ragavans, a Misty Retro, uh, two regular Misties, two... Two Urzes, two Retro Arid Maces, three Regular, one Murktide, three um, Sketch Murktides, Retro March Flats, and two Regular March Flats. So, pretty good. And these are all the rares that are currently being sorted right now in the machine. And on the desk, we got a gigantic stack still of just rares that need to be sorted. Uh, yeah, so this is how the setup looks. It goes through the machine. Then I take the rares and I put them out in order alphabetically, and then I inventory them. As you can see, I still haven't inventoried any of these, these, these. Now, these are all good rares. Like, I just valued the ones right now, you know, over 10 bucks. Like, there's a lot of good, like, good ones here still. So it's, the numbers are going to astound you. Like there is room right now to do this yourself <laughs> as a retail customer, I guarantee you. Well, I'm not gonna say guarantee, but you could do it. All right, so I just went through all the list cards. These are all the notable list cards we got. Um, a decent amount, pretty good. We'll just fan through them. So, so far, um, with just with the sort of high-end fetch lands and all the cards like that are valued above like 10 bucks, we are far past the value of what we actually put into the product. And that's kind of like insane with any sort of product that's kind of still in print um still not done machine still sorting along still going um but these are all cards that you know some of them aren't too good some are good but these are all stuff that will sell in store and you know from past experiences and stuff like that um so yeah it's like pretty insane i'm gonna do a full breakdown at the end of the video so stick around and if you enjoy these types of videos, I'm definitely going to be making more, like, with different products. Uh, if you want, put a, you know, comment down below of what actual product you want to see a uh, breakdown of next. And I'll try and do it, for sure. Alright, guys. The numbers are in. So, it went okay. It went pretty good. Um... We did 72 boxes, Modern Horizon 2 set boosters. We did get kind of crushed, you know, on the list slot, I, I believe, I feel. Um, but your, you know, your mileage may vary. 
Um, so, the grand total, all the cards we pulled, um, pretty much all the cards I count as anything over $2. Um, sure, everything under $2 and stuff is going to sell for me too, because, you know, I'm a store, so it's going to sell inside the store and stuff like that, and all those other things, all those different avenues. Um, so as an online seller, anything just strictly online, the, you know, the fees and everything like that are going to be a lot for you guys. Um, so this is my numbers for a store. Um, sure, I'm going to sell some online, but, you know, I'm going to, the really high-end cards and stuff like that, people are going to trade in for, so I'm going to get a little bit more profit out of them than the average person. So this is why game stores open a lot of product. So they get those really good um, high-end cards, and people, a lot of people don't normally just buy them straight up. They uh, bring in a bunch of their cards, they sell them to me, and you know we buy at like 65% is about average, and we make a little bit more on it. That's really how the whole industry works. Um, okay, so grand total, $17,876 worth of cards over $2. Now, we um, spent $13,320 on product, which leaves around $4,556 in... Uh, profit I do that because you know it, it's not gonna end up being that because I'm gonna sell some online and that's gonna you know be about 20% in fees I'm gonna sell some in store I'm gonna people are gonna trade in so it's really hard to detect your actual profit margin also these are today's prices um, you know all the fetches have never been lower so in time they will go up so this is today's prices. You have to keep that also in mind. Monitor that. Because um, as of today, this is probably the lowest they've ever been. So they're only going to go up from here. So it, it could potentially even be more profit than that. Or less. It could go down more. You don't know. So you, it's not like, you know, something you can really <laughs> look into the future and see. You have no idea. You just got to ride it out. Um, and a lot of people were asking, like, how I do profit margins on singles, like when I pull it, what do I calculate the, the buy price for that one single? You will lose your mind <laughs> if you're trying to put your actual profit margin on every single you have. You're going to have thousands and thousands and thousands of singles. If you want to put your actual, like, buy price on every single and how to calculate that you'll <laughs> you'll spend that'll be your business your whole day will be trying to calculate your profit margin on that one single it's impossible task don't do it just sell it buy sell buy sell and at the end of the month if your account's going up you're doing good there's really no other way to go about it you will literally drive yourself insane okay so I said that you guys can make money. So right now I'm seeing Modern Horizons 2 set booster boxes for around $2.25 a box. They might go a little lower, but with that, if you bought the same amount I bought, you would spend $16,200. So right around almost what I buy for. It's like crazy. It's <laughs> You see why people say that there really isn't a lot of money in sealed products because there isn't. Even in Modern Horizon 2, which is like a good set, a great set, there's still not a lot of room for margin in the sealed product, which is why I open it. Uh, so that would leave probably around one to $2,000 of wiggle room for you guys. Now, sure, you guys like all the online retailers and stuff like that you'd have a lot you'd be a lot more fee sensitive um but you just here's the thing 
everything in life has fees, you know? You just have to learn how to mitigate those fees properly. Um, you could sell more in person or Facebook groups and everything like that or wherever. But you're always going to have fees no matter what. You don't think that even when someone comes into my store and buys a single, I don't have fees. I get a credit card fee, there's a fee for even operating the building, running my air conditioner, <laughs> my cable, my internet. There's different fees. Sure, I might not get hit with an actual fee of that person buying that product as much as selling it online, but there's other fees that go into that. Employees, two or three employees, you know, it's there's other fees that go into it besides just the sale fee. So <clears throat> there's still room for even an online person to uh, make some money. Uh, a little bit, but there's still room there. You could still probably squeak out like one to two thousand dollars just as a retail person, like buying these on TCG Player or uh, eBay or whatever. So like it, it's possible. <laughs> It's hard. It sucks opening up that much product because I literally, the, the next day, I felt hungover because I stood in the same spot for about 12 hours and opened 2,200 packs. Yeah, it was over 2,000. I just like the way that, um, you know, 2,000 sounds better than 2,200. I literally felt hungover the next day because I had a headache. I was just dehydrated. I didn't drink anything. I literally stood in the same spot and opened packs for 12 hours. And you're like, wow, that sounds awesome. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> After about the second or third hour, you're just like, please, I just want this to end. And I had two other people helping me. So I think during the next one, guys, this is where you come into play. I want you guys to tell me the next product to open. And we'll do this whole thing over again. Sure, I'll probably get better at it. You know, this is it's right now it's around two o'clock in the morning. I'm still at the store. Uh I just finished entering everything in, and after this is done recording, I'm gonna edit this and put it up. But this is the life, man. This is what you gotta do. And uh I hope you're ready for it. Cause uh it's constant and It's great. I'll see you guys later. Bye.